Audi. Sorry, it's super washed out. Maybe I can sort of fix that a little bit. There we go. Sorry for the bad angle as well. I don't want you to see my super messy house, so you're down there because my bedroom is a mess and I don't have the backdrop up. But I just got a random package from uh, Eric Bailey, EJ Bailey. Um, sorry, I'm filming on two different media here as well. Um, I was going to do a mail day video someday, um, but then the Com C announcement happened today, and I was like, I've got these purchases that need to go up there. So I was like, oh, okay, I'll start opening my mail. And then my wife brought up the one from Eric, and I opened it, and then I lifted up the part of it that was the PC package, because there's a couple of funny things in there from Eric. Hey, Greg, how's it going? Um, and uh, we'll get to yours as well. But I lifted up the PC packet, and it was way too heavy for me not to open on camera. So I said, let me work this all out, steal the iPad from my son so I can do this live. Um, but while we're doing that, I'm going to show apparently this one other thing from eBay. Because I had opened all the eBay packages except for one, and my wife came upstairs and said, you got another package today. Actually, got two packages today. She got me for my birthday, and it just arrived today. These really cool decals from Star Wars, like schematic details, decals. And when we finally move the office, hopefully within the next month, back to where I have my own full office instead of this part bedroom, part office, we're going to frame these and put them on the wall. So so all you Star Wars fans, be very jealous. we got another Star Wars poster here. we got two other Star Wars things that aren't hung just because dad life. Um, but first off, let's see this. So this I'm curious about because I haven't really seen these. But I got this at a stupid price. Are these things legit? It's an oversized Bowman card. Uh, oversized card. I believe it's from Bowman Draft. Is this legit? It's stamped 16 of 49. So it's a, a giant stamped Joe Adele from Bowman, 30th anniversary, numbered out of 49 that I got for, try to guess how much I paid for this, or I should say how little I paid for it. Comment or type it in there if you're watching on Periscope. Numbered to just 49 from Bowman Draft. Um, I'm guessing they're box toppers. Again, I haven't really seen any of these, but it was on eBay and I thought, well, I'll put in a stupid low bid price and I get it no one can complain right um so so yeah so that's pretty awesome I probably probably just gave everybody my address there um okay so this is the package that surprised me from uh greg reamersma hi greg at reamersma 62 uh type another comment greg so i can see your exact handle oh look at that this thing is this thing is bulky too Rack. He says rack, only it's not entirely random because he is just a great guy in general. Sorry, there's another squishy thing. Just always, always double check something didn't fall in there. Um, and it was, I believe, for my birthday. Reamersma 63. Reamersma underscore 63. So not entirely random, um, but super, super thoughtful. Was not expecting this. It was funny when I saw it arrive the other day. I, I tweeted at him or dm'd him and said hey did you did you send me something stupid greg i'm very very excited and appreciative for it and a little concerned this is this is pretty sturdy too oh this is cool so it looks like it's something different than cards which i which i like this is just one of a few racks. Hope they are to your liking. Sorry about the fat top loaders. I ran out of regular ones. No apology necessary because getting extra fat top loaders is always a plus. I've got here, since I've started doing Com C and getting rid of all the cards that aren't part of my PC, you know, I've still got my PC stacks here, but I have three stacks of top loaders this big. Can't even grab them all. So. Um, if you send fat top loaders, that's great because those are all regular size top loaders, but there's also a towel. So these things are in here in some sort of towel. So I'm really, really curious about this towel. Looks like it's pink for breast cancer awareness. 
and it is a pink Tampa Tribune Tampa Bay Buccaneers towel. Oh, that's pretty cool. Especially since this didn't come from anywhere near Tampa, did it? Did it, Craig? Where'd you Where'd you get onto this? But what a fun, fun way. Um, also, a strong reminder: a crucial catch. You know, if you have women that you love in your life, make sure that they get tested. And men, in fact, um, men are also susceptible. So it looks like Greg threw a couple of different things in here across a couple of different teams. Y'all know I'm a Cubs fan first and foremost, diehard for life. Um, but I do really appreciate my Dodgers here in Southern California. Uh, I think they're a lot of fun. I like the LA Rams. I like the LA Kings. I like the Chicago Bulls. I enjoy the Clippers. So we start off with a rookie card from this year's Prism, actually a silver Prism rookie card of Tameric Hemingway. So that definitely needs a top loader. Then we've got some first Bowman of pitcher Jordan Sheffield for the Los Angeles Dodgers. We've got a, uh, a slightly bittersweet card here, Eloy Jimenez as a White Sox, or as a Chicago Cub, uh, 2016 Bowman. Oh, sorry, I got a bit of the sniffles. I miss him so much. And then Oscar De La Cruz with a Bowman Chrome prospect card. All right, get the tape off there. Nice thing is that shipping box is also reusable. Oh. Okay, this already looks cool. Look at the very front. I love these. The uh, the diamond anniversary shiny. Is that the canary? It's definitely not the canary one of one, but still super shiny, super awesome of Clayton Kershaw. Rookie card of Jock Peterson out of Prism. Todd Gurley, Leaf Draft, and oh, sorry, not to pass over the base Todd Gurley out of Leaf Draft, but check out this Todd Gurley from Unparalleled. Oh, look at that refractor prism pattern on there. That is super cool. I don't know if that's the base from Unparalleled or, or a, a specialty thing, but that is awesome, Greg. Thank you, man. Let's see, make sure the Kershaw gets a top loader. Ooh, cool Heritage Collection, Ryan Sandberg. Oh, this card is awesome. This is really cool. So from back in the day, but he had a long enough career and came back to the Dodgers enough times that it's still very fitting. 2006, or 2008, sorry, Baseball Heroes, Matt Kemp out of 199. Matt Kemp is one of the, I would say one of the most beloved Dodgers of all time. Guy just plays his heart out, and that is such a cool card, that Baseball Heroes design and the true true license logo baseball heroes that's really cool i don't know if you had that in your collection or if you found that um but that's a treasure right there thank you greg class of 2008 chris long another classic upper deck card here with logos rookie card class of 2008 numbered to 750 chris long rams defensive end and then a Topps rookie. Sorry, it says Topps RR. I'm trying to figure out what that, that means. But Austin Pettis, also for the St. Louis Rams, third round pick. I was just about to sneeze, and then I didn't. Okay, so that came off, which is good. Yeah, I know these thick top loaders will come in handy, so win-win. I like when people ship that way. All right, Will Smith. First Bowman for the Dodgers, going in the PC. Jerome Bettis tops gold. This was a set uh, back in 1993. I spent way too much money on these packs trying to get these gold cards. Baseball, football, and basketball. Tameric Hemingway again, Prism. Extra points, Chris Givens. That's also fun. That means that it's numbered. Looks like it's numbered out of 999. Another underrated guy, came to the Rams in 2012, played three or four seasons with them, really played his heart, to, heart out, so I like him. This is a cool du dual card, Brandon McKay and Anthony Rizzo. Cool because Anthony Rizzo, obviously the Cubs, but Brandon McKay, another guy that I'm following and enjoy. And then we've got some other shiny Bowman best. Anthony Rizzo and an Ian Happ rookie that I don't believe I have. 
that's super cool. Gavin Lux. Where are my Kleenexes? Oh, there they are. Everybody, close your ears. Oh. Oh. Oh, okay. Sorry, guys. It's just the way it is with kids. Southern California, summertime, seasonal change. All of those excuses. Or maybe it's something more nefarious and y'all can say you were the last ones to see me. Hopefully not. I know. Bad joke. We all make bad jokes. So. And then here we have some more. Another Bowman's first Bowman base uh, or paper, I should say, Gavin Lux. Then we've got a Gavin Lux Chrome first. A DJ Peters Camo. I think those came out of like the hanger boxes. A really cool Javier Baez Prism rookie card. Love that. A Todd Gurley Purple rookie card. I believe those were a certain retail parallel from Topps Chrome. Love that. That is super cool. DJ Peters first Bowman card. Got a lot of high hopes for that guy. Chase DeYoung. These cards that I really like is when Bowman Chrome does throwbacks, I think they do them really well. So there we have the Bowman Chrome Mike Piazza throwback card there, draft prospects. And then some more Bowman Chrome Jordan Sheffield, Andrew Sopko. Cool insert 36th overall Jordan Sopko uh, card. Tyson Miller. Oh, now I did have that Piazza. I can't remember where I got it, but I've seen it before. I have not seen this before. So this is that same parallel that I told you I like, the draft history with my all-time favorite player, Greg Maddox. I only give him precedent over Chris Bryant just because of seasons played. Um, so, wow, that's a really cool card. I didn't even know that existed. And then we round it out with DJ Peters Chrome again, Chase DeJong, and Will Smith Chrome. So, wow, thank you. That was a really fun birthday opening, Greg. Thank you, man. That was awesome. So if you don't follow him already, Reamersma63 on social media. And now I'm going to get to Eric's pack. And thank you guys both for thinking of me. It's ridiculous. You didn't need to. Um, super, super nice of you guys. Um, it's nice to have, have friends out there that just sort of think a little something of you on your birthday and send you something like that. So especially because I'm sure you all know as a dad now, it's like birthdays aren't quite what they used to be. You know, now it's the kid's birthday is huge. And your birthday, it's like, okay, here's some socks and uh, cake. The, the wife did take good care of me. She got a, she made me a cheesecake, blueberry cheesecake and those cool Star Wars decals. So here's what Eric sent me, and you'll see why I knew, or I had to throw it on there, throw it on a video, because first off, he sent me some Cincinnati chili. Now the funny thing was, I don't know if it's just because of the hot weather or what, but mm, these hoops cards smell like chili now. So I will always, always remember these are Eric's hoops cards. Now I actually have a labeling system that I do for PC cards now, so that's really fun. But this chili will be eaten and enjoyed. I'm under the understanding you have to eat it with ch with spaghetti when you're eating Cincinnati chili. So, and then he sent me a birthday card. Keep it real. I try. Well, except your age. You can always lie about that. Happy birthday. Happy birthday from the Bailey family. When he says the family, he really means it. They've been to a couple of nationals together. The whole family comes with him. The first national that I saw him at in Cleveland, uh, it was so funny. He pulled a Chris Bryant one of one from a pack of cards autograph. Um, and you all know that Chris Bryant's my favorite living or active. Sorry, Greg Maddox. Uh, my favorite active Cubs player. Well, um, since then, he's just been pulling. It's like every single pack he opens, he pulls a Cubs autograph. It's so funny. So... He sent me this, and this was super huge and thick, and I saw, it looks like there's an autograph on the very front. So that's why I said, you know what, if he's sending me thick autographs, I gotta open this on camera, along with these two packs of hoops. So which should I do first, the hoops or the, the PC rack? 
anybody, anybody, anybody on any of the live outlets. If you're watching this on Periscope, give some likes or share share it so that some more people jump in here and watch this. PAX PC. Hoops. Well, Eric voted PC. Greg voted PAX. Biggie voted PAX. Well, let's open one pack and then, then we'll see. We'll see how we feel after one pack. Oh, hey, good rookie on the back. Not great rookie. I don't know. I don't know what the definition of great is. Um, we got DeAndre Hunter on the back there. So we got Shea Gilgis Alexander. Well, we don't need. We can run through the the base cards. Demontis Sabonis. He's an All Star, isn't he? Jordan Clarkson, Jaron Jackson, Will Barton, Jason Tatum. Lots of good names in this, but it is base hoops. So y'all probably don't want to see me put those on my com C. All right, so in the middle of the pack, there is a purple card with purple foil. This one is of Jeff Green, NBA Hoops Jeff Green. I had no clue he was on the Jazz. I remember thinking he was going to have a really great career, and he's had a solid career. But next up, we've got Lights, Camera, Action of Kyle Lowry. Then we've got a Hoops Arriving Now rookie card of Romeo Langford for the Boston Celtics. Ooh, and then we've got a shiny NBA Hoops Get Out The Way. That's pretty cool. Foil card of Hamidou Diallo. That's really cool looking. I didn't know that they had foil cards in Hoops. I like that addition. Iman Shumpert. Okay, now we got some rookie cards. we got Nick Claxton. Is he any good? We have DeAndre Hunter. Wait, did I get two DeAndre Hunters in the same pack? We've got uh, Damon Lillard... Regular, or uh, no, that's a that's a throwback. It seems like it's base card number tribute hoops tribute. We've got Cody Martin rookie, Paul Millsap, Mariel Shayuk rookie. Okay, yeah, and then there's a hoops tribute rookie of DeAndre Hunter as well. So two DeAndre Hunter rookies in one pack, same picture. So. Oh, that's cool. I actually have not opened any of this hoops yet, uh, Eric, so I'm, I'm enjoying this. Okay, but I am going to interrupt it. We'll chase Zion in a minute, but I want to see what's in this pack right here with these Cubs cards. Holy moly. Okay, so I was, I don't know what was wrong with my eyes, but it was not an autograph. Apparently... But it is Wilson Contreras. Sorry, I want to show... I get attracted to the bigger screen better. Holy moly. A base tops numbered to 25 relic of Wilson Contreras. Our absolute stud catcher who plays his heart out every single play, every single game. Wow. Right on top. <laughs> that's, that's absolutely incredible, Eric. Wow, man. Thank you. Okay, next up we have an Archives Signature. Oh my goodness. A Chris Bryant from Archives Signature Edition. And it's on that, it's on, <laughs> remember what I was just saying about how I like when Bowman does Chrome? So this is the 20, in 2017, Bowman Baseball did uh, 1951 Bowman reproductions on Chrome. So this is from 2017. <laughs> Um, yeah, remember that? Um, I think I remember it in multiple ways, Eric, because I remember, I think I remember telling you to sell this card because it was way too, way too good. <laughs> I just noticed something. You probably noticed it a long time ago. Eric, you are, you... You literally sent me a one-of-one one Chris Bryant from Archives. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Wow. Thank you, man. This is, this is like, definitely... I only have trouble calling it the best card in my collection just because I still have and keep it up here for all time. The original, the Chris Bryant... Um, Bowman Chrome, my very first Bowman Chrome Chris Bryan autograph that's in my profile picture that was also a gift from Mike in Vegas. Ugh. 
Look at this. Look at how ridiculous that is. Still sealed in the Archive Signature Series, one of one. Sorry, I'm looking at it. I'm supposed to be showing you guys. Wow. Eric, my goodness, man. Thank you. Thank you. That's really, really special. I would jump through the phone and hug you right now. If you're not coming to Atlantic City next time we're in Cleveland, dinner on me for you and the family. How's that? Um, wow. I don't even know what to say. That's so ridiculously awesome. Um, literally has to be top three card of my collection, if not top one, two. It's just because I'm sick. I'm sniffling because I'm sick, man. Wow. That is so cool. Archive Signature Series 1 of 1 from 2017. Bowman. I am glad I was filming. I'm glad I decided to film this. <laughs> and we're not even done yet. Now, I'm guessing that this has been redeemed. Uh, you're due to receive a buyback. Oh, is this, this is actually the redemption that goes with it. So this was a redemption. Wow, that's super cool. So apparently this was a redemption from 2018 Topps Archive Signature Series. And so the other funny thing is, so because of this, this original card was a redemption, for those of you who don't know, little history here on my Chris Bryant collection. Um, because I couldn't pull any of those and they were so expensive, I started collecting the used redemption cards. So I just thought this was for that PC, but now it's a used redemption card paired with the actual card. That's super, super cool. So, man, Eric, thank you. I was going to say, if this is an autograph, I'm going to flip because there is another Chris Bryant card in there. <laughs> Thankfully, it's really just the silver pack Chris Bryant from this year's tops, which I also don't have. So that's super awesome. Uh, 35th anniversary on the 1985 design. Um, I'll be excited to have this displayed next to the other Chris Bryant autograph I have incoming from my friend Rob, uh, which is on the same design, but I believe is a different photo. So, um, wow. Wow, Eric. I don't even know what to say, man. I'm just going to have to pay it forward. I'm going to have to do another giveaway sometime yesterday. This is so awesome. Freaking one of one Chris Bryant autograph. Uh, 36 is a good birthday. <laughs> 36 just became a really great birthday. Thanks, man. Um, well, do you want to see me open this last pack, you guys? Um, I'm really shook. That's... Yep. Still got the Wilson Contreras over here, numbered to 25, too. That's crazy. Um, hey, Robbie, are baseball cards worth buying again? Well, define worth. Um, I'm having the time of my life over here opening them. Uh... There's a lot of cards that you can sell for more money than you paid. Um, there's also a lot of ways to bust if that's your only goal, is to make money. So, yeah, but it's fun. It's a fun hobby. It's a fun hobby that can have some exciting upside. Um, all right, so let's get into this last pack. Langston Galloway, Joe Harris, Gerald Green, Otto Porter Jr., Ivaka Zubovic, uh, Terry Rozier. Gotta flip the pack. Andrew Wiggins, Bogdan Bogdanovich, Mitchell Robinson, Fred Van Fleet, Markeel Fultz. Looked like a rookie card because he's in a pose. That's why I paused. I was like, wait, is this a... Oh, no. It's just because he changed teams. Trevor Ariza, Tyler Johnson. Um, we have an upside-down card. Is that an autograph or is that just a mistake? Oh, no. It's not a mistake. It is a sky blue foil. It's not Zion, but it is a rookie sky blue foil of Jarrett Culver. For the Minnesota Timberwolves. Followed by another one of those get out the way. Oh, but this one's not foil. So the foil must be something special. This one is not foil like the other get out the way that we got. Joel Embiid. Um, class of 2019, DeAndre Hunter. So that's my third DeAndre Hunter in two packs, which is fun. And now I got a foil lights camera action of Devin Booker. So it must be that there's foil versions of the parallels that are randomly inserted, and again, add a little chase to it. Jordan Bone, Carson Edwards, rookie card, Contavious Caldwell-Pope, Shaquille O'Neal, wouldn't you know, top it all off, 
boom, we've got Zion slam dunking on you right there. Pack pulled Zion. That's really, really cool and fun. Um, from NBA Hoops, rookie card Zion. Maybe we should give this away as a little thank you and give back since as much fun as it is, there's no way it compares at all to a one-of-one -one Chris Bryant. So, look at that. That's pretty awesome. Um, hey, not too shabby, though, going on. Matisse Thibel, he's not doing too bad. And then we actually end it with another hot rookie, Kobe White, for the Chicago Bulls. So, very cool. Put that in the sleeve as well. Well, freaking A, man. Eric, that was incredible. Unexpected, unprecedented. Thank you. Thank you, Greg, though. Also, that was equally awesome, equally fun. Um, I'm just blown away and really appreciate you guys thinking of me. Um, you know that I think of you and I owe all the fun that I have on social media to friends and followers like you guys. Um, you know, Greg, hopefully one day we can actually hang out in person like Eric and I have been happy enough to. And I mean, I don't know what's better, one of one Chris Bryant or two helpings of Cincinnati recipe chili. Just need to get my scissors out for that spaghetti, right? So, all right. Well, plenty of love to all of you. Thank you so much. Thank you for watching. Um, and thank you for thinking of me. That's an incredible card. You're ridiculous, Eric. All right. Bye for now.